Welcome back again. We uh, got our special guest, a man I work with every day, Daniel Day Davis. I just added the day. I don't know if it's really day, but sounds good right now. Sure. Hey, five weeks. Let's do it again. We've got some game balls to pick out right now, and uh, I saw some of your picks. Uh, pretty pretty darn good players right there. You you tell me your first game ball. All right. You know my first game ball. I'm gonna go with Amasha Brantley out of LBJ. He had a huge week. Um, they won 76 to three over Johnston, but you know Johnston's a little down on their luck right now. But still, um, Brantley he ran for 230 yards, four touchdowns, and he really only played a half. So regardless of who you're playing, you know if you're gonna put up those stats, that's worth um, noting. Yeah, they, they, and you're right. Uh, Johnson has been had a few hard times lately, but that's still a great accomplishment. My first uh, game ball goes to Blake Gideon. He uh, you know, UT football fans are like this because he's uh, one of their pledges for next year. Plays safety for Leander. Uh, all he did against Pflugerville was uh, had 15 tackles. He had one interception, blocked an extra point, and then he goes plays quarterback for four plays in the second half and uh, runs 78 yards for the game-winning touchdown that, that gave them the 37-36 win. So uh, Blake Gideon's going to look good and Longhorn Orange pretty soon, but then uh, who's your second pick? You know, I'm gonna go with um, Jacob Wirtz out of Connolly. You know, he didn't have a very impressive stat line over the weekend, but he did throw for two touchdowns, 167 yards, helped lead Connolly to a 23 to 21 win over Drooping Springs. And the important thing there is he's he's only a sophomore. He's pretty much the third string quarterback because Josh Hernandez was out and Darius Dark Smith missed the last two weeks, and so he's pretty shaky last week against Colleen, but. He stepped it up this week, and Connolly really needed a win because they they had started off kind of kind of rough. He helped um, win their district opener, so you know I gotta give him some props. And I uh, think he started this season on JV, if I'm not. Yep. Yeah. In fact, um, last week in Colleen, he wasn't even on the roster oh, for the for the media. Amazing. Uh, my second and final game ball goes to Clayton Rogers, quarterback from Hayes High School. Uh, 279 yards rushing, three touchdowns. Uh, 43 to 32 victory over Lockhart. He also threw for 78 yards and a touchdown. Uh, uh, that's uh, more than 340 yards all by himself and a big victory for, for Hayes. And he played a uh, wide receiver last year. In fact, he had the game winning catch in the Alamo Dome in a big playoff game, uh, one that they won in the final play of the game. And now he's playing quarterback this year and obviously doing a great job. So. Uh, those are our four game balls, and uh, we'll be back right, right after this.